Columbus Police Department gets a federal grant for some new equipment. The Corona Emergency Su Supplemental Funding Grant is awarding law enforcement departments with gear in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Our Stephanie Poole joins us in the studio with more on how a local department plans to use the funding. That's right, Andrea. Officers are constantly on the clock working in the community. Now, one of the bigger battles they're facing other than crime is coronavirus. It's vital their health is protected, too. We're in difficult times, and this is a new situation. Even during the pandemic, officers remain on the front lines. Columbus Police Chief Fred Shelton says through the Corona Emergency Supplemental Funding Grant, officers will have new devices on duty. So the Bureau of Justice Assistance offered money specifically to help law enforcement respond to the pandemic. And we simply applied. We came up with a, with a proposal. They accepted it, and we're here now. The department was awarded $37,000. Some of those funds will cover air quality units for police vehicles. We're going to be, buy, be able to buy fresh air mobile units to put in our vehicles, which is going to clean, which is going to uh, take contaminants and pollutants out of the air. In addition, there's a future on where it can disinfect the car. So since our vehicles are used on a daily basis, it makes it safer for the officer and again, it's safer for the person that we're transporting. All officers will receive an air filter necklace, crime scene barriers, and two drones are also purchased for the department. That way we'll be able to get real-time information and it'll lessen our exposure to if there was a, if there was a, a uh, outbreak of a, of a disease. The police and um, other city leaders are doing the best that they can, you know, by setting that example and doing those things and encouraging us to continue to do the same. And, you know, by that, you can only lead by examples. Erin Taylor is a nurse practitioner at Allegro Family Clinic in Columbus. She's encouraging community members to continue using protective gear, too. I think our biggest focus now needs to be on normalizing. What does our new normal look like? The best case scenario is to make sure that you continue the hand hand high Hygiene, you continue wearing a mask, you know, social distancing when you can. And hopefully with these new measures, cases of COVID-19 will lower. Regardless of pandemic, people are still hurting, crime is being committed, and we need to be able to respond, but we need to be able to respond safely. Chief Shelton says every officer must attain a drone pilot license before they can operate that device.